One of the other wellness fundamentals is rest. Now, some employers just have a heart attack. Hang on, what do you mean? We can't teach our people to rest. We pay them to work. You do pay them to work, but do you think they're actually working nine to five? Like there might be some hectic days where people go, 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 but people don't actually fully work nine to five. What they do is they often pull themselves away, whether it means to go get a, a coffee or a cigarette or walk around the office, or I've got to take this to somewhere, or I've got to get in my car for a second, get lunch. Oh, lunch took a while, traffic took a while. People find ways to take a break. What we want them to know how to do is to rest in a way that invigorates them. Kind of like when you jump in the ocean. You jump in the ocean, it's chilly, it's fresh, you have a quick swim, jump out, and you are alive and awake, you are invigorated. Now the workplace doesn't have an ocean there, but there are some things for everybody that does invigorate them. And if people have an awareness of what energizes them, then they can find ways to put them into their world. But typically people don't know, so they don't do it. They go home, they turn on the television out of habit, have some dinner, nothing's on, so they start flicking. As soon as you start flicking, you can blow an hour and a half, you get up, you feel like you did nothing. There's other times though, you come home, you run out of the backyard, you've just mowed the lawn or something, you'll just move some plants around and you just tidy it up and you feel better for doing that. See, there's, there's productivity in rest as well. There's a whole lot of things that actually invigorate us. So when we say rest, we want people to know how to withdraw from work and refuel themselves. Now, a tangible example of that is a good friend of mine and somebody I advised for a while, and his name's Tanzel Ali, and Tanzel has memorized the entire Sydney Yellow Pages because he's Australia's memory champion. It's a skill set that he's developed. It's not a genetic thing. He actually has developed the skill. Now, when he's in competition, he has to remember huge amounts of volume. And he said, sometimes your brain gets to a point of fatigue and he goes, I just, I'm trying to remember, I just can't. And I said, well, Tanzel, you need to take a break. He says, but I'm in competition. I go, Tanzel, it only needs to be three seconds. You concentrating? <sighs> and back in. It just needs to be a, a, a removal, but a deliberate removal. When you move back, it's not sit back, still panic. It's actually think about your family, think about how good this is, think about what you're gonna do next. There's a whole lot of things that you can do in that three seconds. But that three second break, is an investment in the next three or four minutes or seven minutes or hour and a half or whatever it is. And we need to develop people's capacity to rest in a way and take a break in a way that liberates their energy so they come back invigorated.